Shalom. As always, before I get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the icon that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, bringing in or teaching uh, the hopeful elect, you know, Shalom. Um, this is the brother Zion Amoth from the GMS The Trip by Camp. And um, today, coming with a quick lesson um, dealing with um, uh, what, you know, what we'll say confusion of face or uh, basically uh, Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites, all right, in the scriptures or or in or Israelites that were um, basically known of another name maybe or you know of another um, of another nation um, so like for example dealing with Simon the Cyrenian right this video is going to be basically done with the fact of the matter was he a Cyrenian as like another nation like a heathen nation outside of Israel or was he an Israelite right with the with the name Cyrenian because like in fact you can compare that to today you know we know as a whole right 12 tribes all right were are all here in America, right? And so by living here, they may call you an American citizen, all right? But that's that's just that's just a, a title, right? That's not who you are, right? According to to your birthright, right? According to the sea, right? You're just an American citizen, all right? But that has nothing to do with your actual ethnicity. Right, what nation do you come out of? Right, so basically today you have a lot of Israelites, right, that happen to live or reside or um, <laughs> basically, basically held, we're held captive here in America. You have Israelites that are enslaved in America, right, but that doesn't make them uh, uh, American, if you will, right. Even with, with all the camps, you know, you got, like, as for myself, I'm from the Detroit camp, GMS Detroit by camp, right? You got brothers of their uh, respective camps all over the uh, so-called United States, you know? You got the L.A. camp, Dallas camp, uh, uh, Atlanta camp, camps down in Florida, you know, uh, shit, Massachusetts, New York, you know, so on and so forth, Chicago, you know, so that doesn't make them, you know, where you, where you live, it doesn't make you who you are, right, because, hey, we all get around, we move, right, we, uh, what's the word I want to use, we, uh, can't think of it right now, but, but, but basically, uh, according to the curses, all right, Notably in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, right? The most I said he was going to scatter us. And he, he was going to, you know, move us abroad, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? That doesn't, that, does, that doesn't change the fact that we're Israelites, you know? So, I say that all to say, you know, the hinge upon this point dealing with Simon, right? He's called the Cyrenian in the scriptures, but that doesn't mean he's an Israelite. All right? We're going to, I got a few scripts that, you know, I'm going to use to kind of highlight the point. And uh, I'm going to close out. So, then what this is a loop. Verse 23. And, um, we just get right to the point. 26. It says, And as they led him away, right, they laid upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country and on him they laid the cross that he might that he might bury it after Yahweh Shai. 
Alright? So, the family, I'm gonna click on this word, Sirenia, in the blue letter. Dealing with the Greek, all right. G twenty nine fifty six. All right. It says a native of Cyrene, or I.E. Scrolling down now. It say an inhabitant of Cyrene. That's just basically where, where he lay his head. All right, that's where he happens to live. But that doesn't make him Cyrenian uh, of, that doesn't make him the bloodline of, of a Cyrene. All right? And um, we're going to get into that. And I'll put a, a, say a few scriptures. Okay, this is going into Matthew 27. said a few scriptures just to kind of stay on topic. Hey, as the um, scriptures tell you, you know, to read precept upon precept. All right, that's how you get a, a, a fuller and better understanding of what the scriptures are saying. All right, because the scriptures are not like, you know, your regular best-selling selling novel, all right? Now, the Bible is known as the greatest story ever told, right? But it's not just a, a page turner. You can you can read the Bible, you know, page for page like that to get a a general, you know, idea of you know of the history and the storyline, this, that, and the other. But to understand, you know, the the deeper dark sayings, all right, the secrets, the mysteries. All right, the Heavenly Father got to be dealing with you, and, you know, you have to um, read the scriptures precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. You know, you got to move around through this book, because that's how the Spirit moves. The Spirit just, it moves as the wind, you know, you got to, you got to go with the flow, so to say. But, um, this is, let's see. That's not what I really wanted. It's basically just another another scripture dealing with that, but no, nah, this is what I wanted. This was uh so like you for that. Okay, kind of, here we go. And this is Acts, the second chapter. Alright, dealing with um, the day of Pentecost, alright? Where you had certain Jews, right? Which basically, Pentecost is one of our high holy days, and that the Heavenly Father commanded us to um, come together and basically, um, 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 how can I say, to basically gather ourselves together unto, unto the Heavenly Father, all right? And so this is this basically is goes back into our customs, all right, we did this, okay, every year, and three times a year, all right, according to Deuteronomy 16 and 16, all right, we're supposed to, matter of fact, let me just get that, just to prove that, this is Deuteronomy 16 and 16, say three times a year, all right, with the Pentecost being one of those times. All right, three times in a year shall all the males appear before Yahweh thy power in the place he, which he shall choose, in the Feast of Eleven Bread, and in the Feast of Weeks, in the Feast of Tabernacles. All right? And they shall not appear before Yahweh empty. All right, so that's that. Now going back. So the Pentecost is going back into our customs. All right? So, when we read here, this is Acts 2, and 
I start at five. It says, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, all right? Jews, which, which as, as you should know, or if you don't, you know, um, Jew, which is short for Judah, all right? Or Yahweh in the Hebrew, is basically one of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, all right? And then even to fast forward, all right, under, under the, um, we are basically a united kingdom under King David, but then when Solomon got on the throne, or took the throne, all right, the, uh, the, 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 the kingdom was rent or split up in two to where you had what you know or what we know now is the northern and the southern tribe and the southern tribe as a whole okay which consider which consists of judah benjamin and levi those three tribes were known as uh judah right the tri the the nation that well we'll say uh uh judah right that was the southern kingdom then the northern kingdom were all the other tribes right which was known as as israel okay so you had israel and you had judah but going into the time of the romans all right basically you had um as a majority i'll say you know you had the southern kingdom which was uh basically in that land okay because you had the, the northern kingdom some hundreds of years prior that were basically they already came over here to the Americas all right to seek to seek um, um, refuge to seek you know a better a better um, way of life and to uh, a land to where they could keep their customs because you had heathens. All right, that were basically just de demoralizing our people. All right, for the lack of a better word. But um, so fast forward here in X. All right, as two and five. All right, it says, and there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now, when I read in Luke 23 and 20 cents, it used that, that phrase, you know, out of uh, the country, right? To denote the fact that, okay, this is a man that that actually is an Israelite. He's just coming out of, you know, the land of Cyrene. Just like I said today, you know, you know, I happen to be an Israelite that, that's coming out of Detroit. Right, it's just a, it's just a, a, a term or a phrase, <coughs> right? That doesn't make you a heathen necessarily, right? It says, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, right? And you got you got Israelites everywhere. We're scattered abroad, you know. You got Jews coming from everywhere. <laughs> That's basically what the scriptures are saying, right? Now then. Now then, or sorry, or now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that, um, because that every man heard them speak in his own language, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, "Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how <coughs> hear we every man in our own?" In our own tongue, right? You have all these other Jews that's there, and it's like, damn, how can I understand these people? <coughs> you know, which that was basically the spirit of the Lord, you know, working wherein we were born. <coughs> all right, Parthenians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and and in Judea. And Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, 
in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene. There you go. All right. So you had Jews that even lived, okay, in the land of Cyrene. You had Jews that came out of the land of Cyrene to keep the Pentecost, to keep one of the holy holy doors of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And again, which the Jews are Israelites, right? And strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. All right. And hey, that's pretty much the point. All right. That's the point. Because going back right here, Deuteronomy 28, the Lord made a promise that, hey, we did not. Okay, it was a it was a deal being made, all right, between us as a people, all right, the so-called Negroes, last and Native Americans, and the Most High Himself, all right. That basically gave us law, statutes, statutes, and commandments, and if we didn't adhere to it, there are going to be consequences, and this was basically one of the consequences of being split up, all right. Okay. And this is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. See? That's key word, among. All right? So you had Jews that was amongst the actual Cyrenians. All right? The actual uh, uh, Egyptians. The actual uh, Asians, if you will. All right? So on and so forth. All right, it says, and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. All right, so that's the point, you know, with Simon, uh, actual Cyrenian. All right, as in a heathen, or was he an Israelite? All right, and the answer to that is that he was an Israelite. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying, and um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Ikem that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shut up.